In this tutorial we'll be creating this gradient glow sort of reveal using just two simple effects. Let's get right into it. Now I'll be doing this on a car clip but you can do this on any type of shot to reveal your main object or whatever there might be. So the first thing I'm going to do here is roto brush my car. So I'll select my roto and double click the layer and let's go ahead and create a mask around it. Now always remember the very first frame of your roto so it can calculate what you're trying to select and be as accurate as possible. All right, so I went ahead and selected most of my details here. Let's play this back. And as you can see, it locks up nicely here. And once you're happy with the roller brush, just go ahead and select freeze and wait for this to finish. All right, once that is done, let's go back into our main comp here and we'll duplicate the layer we just created. And the bottom one I'm gonna call background and the main one is gonna be roto. I will pre-compose this layer and on my background layer, I will disable the roto brush. So we just have the background. We can disable it for now. And on our main layer, we're gonna add the main effect here called gradient wipe. Now here I'll set the softness to 50 and set my transition 100. Let's set a keyframe here, move a few frames forward and set this to 80. Now this sort of reveals the highlights of our car, which we can now work with only using this layer. So if I go ahead and add a deep glow, for example, or any type of glow, you can see we get this nice sort of glowing edge reveal, which we can work with. And I'll set the exposure here to 0.5. Now, once our car is sort of revealed, I'll set another keyframe and then fully reveal it going to zero. And once it's fully revealed, I will also set a keyframe for my exposure. So once it's fully revealed, the exposure is gonna be set to zero. So this is what we've got. All right, sort of reveals only the highlights and then fully reveals with like a glow. I'll select these keyframes, hit F9. And for the background layer, I'm gonna add the same type of effect and we'll set the softness to 50 again, set a keyframe for a transition and we'll set it to 100. And once our car is fully revealed, we will also reveal the background. Let's select it, hit F9 and this is what we're getting. And this is just a nicer way to transition the background instead of using just the fade in and out. So yeah, this was a pretty simple tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.